Virgo. Uh, my apologies for not being able to get you reading out last month. There's too much going on in my life. Um, yeah, I've actually done a reading for you already, and <laughs> I'm going to make that your bonus video because that was way too harsh. I don't know what was going on in that situation for a lot of people, but it was for somebody. <clears throat> um, you know, and right now I want to go ahead and do another reading for you just because I think it's important to give you something else. Um, and I'd like to give you a bonus video. So here we have the Empress, um, Taurian energy. This is about abundance, feeling nurtured, nurturing others. It's taking care of yourself. <clears throat> Even if you're alone and in a single person taking yourself out on dates. And I know that sounds cheesy as hell, but do things for yourself that make you feel good, you know? We can talk about new beginnings. Let's go ahead and pull your cards out and see what comes forth, okay? Show me energies present for Virgo. So you have the sun. You have the page of wands. And the knight of cups. Show me more for Virgo, please. Five of Swords. <clears throat> Three of Swords. Three more for Virgo, please. Chariot. Hmm. Eight of Pentacles. Last one. Virgo. Sorry, that's like six cards. I'm not picking that up. Show me one last card for Virgo, please. Oh, Five of Cups. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> when I was right about here, right about here, I was like, I feel a lot of rejection. So what I'm feeling overall, you guys, is, and I, I honestly don't even remember the content of your last reading. I just remember that it was very harsh and heavy information. And I know not all of you guys are going through that, but something's going on. So <clears throat> what I'm feeling here, and I do want to mention before I even get into anything, we are back into a Mercury retrograde. It is bringing people back. It is bringing shit back from the past. It's bringing emotions up and feelings that are unresolved within ourselves, within connections. It's just heaviness. So I do want to mention that for you, okay? Now, here, <laughs> here you may be presented with the opportunity of somebody coming into your life, coming back from the past. Um, I was shuffling earlier and I had to... Um, I, I didn't finish the shuffling just because everything went haywire. I got like three cards out, but you had the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, um, the Six of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, and here I feel with this energy of the Empress, it's like you are now at a sense of self where you are feeling better. You're feeling um, as if you're rejuvenated. There's, there's, you know, if you've been through problematic situations with people, it's like that kind of energy has subsided because you've taken yourself and put yourself first, which is very healthy, Virgo. <clears throat> you have more happiness in your life. You're better, well, you're, you're more well-rounded. Um, things are moving in your way in, in a good way for you in a lot of ways. And I think that that's also a personal achievement as well for you to have um, attained that energy on a personal level. The page of, page of Wands talks about new direction, but it talks about um, communication towards new things, you know, very passionate, friendly, fun, bubbly energy. This may just be an energy that you're embodying right now. I feel like there's like, it's like these time blocks here for some reason, Virgo, like time blocks, like where <clears throat> you've gone through whatever you've gone through and it's like you've come out on top, you've emerged in a very healthy way, which I think is great, which is totally different from your other reading. That was some crazy shit. I honestly don't remember what it was called. It was like like deception and like heaviness. There was a lot of heaviness in that reading, like loss of connections and shit like that. And I'm just like, what the fuck? That may be what you were dealing with in the past and now you're here. This is, this what I'm feeling is about somebody that has like done the work on themselves and healed from a very significant situation that was painful for them. <clears throat> 
This can also talk about pregnancy as well. The Empress, the Sun, the Page of Wands. That can be a pregnant situation too. For some of you, that may be the situation. I feel that some of you are dealing with a, where, a point in your life where you are on top of things though. Um, but on the flip side, some people, these readings are multidimensional, some people, multifaceted. Some people may also be dealing with pregnancy at this time, but it may be from a pregnancy from somebody that was in your past and it might not have been a good situation. Um, if you have, okay, I have to go with this thread right now because this is what I'm being shown. There's like pictures coming in, coming in. So I'm going to do this <clears throat> right now. You may be dealing with somebody from your past or some sort of connection where it's like there is an expression of love or an expression of emotion at least some sort of emotional communication but the situation that you've been dealing with that you may have dealt with with that person is something where there's you can't trust it there's too much emotional disconnect there's manipulation and it leads to heartbreak um, and so you choose to move away and work on things yourself it doesn't mean you're not going to have regret or frustration or pain in consideration to this but at least you you end up here and I know this is like backtracking and for some reason it's like this weird loop but this is the energy that I'm feeling that you embody now I'm gonna go with these two scenarios because this is what I'm picking up most this is two groups I'm I feel like I'm talking to two groups here Virgo but some of you have gotten to a place in your life where you've let this go you've moved away from it there has been a fair amount of regret and you may still be feeling regret but it's like a learning mechanism it's helpful in regard to propelling yourself forward um and you're moving forward into new things it's this weird loop it's like forward 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 back um and then here also for those of you who may be pregnant it's like you may get some sort of communication or offer from whomever you've been dealing with it could be cancer pisces scorpio you have cancer here cancer pisces scorpio cancer pisces scorpio it doesn't matter whomever it is but there's a blockage within that connection there's a blockage within that relationship just because you can't trust it you can't trust it and that's the, the frustrating part here so okay i'm going to try and keep this as clear as possible but I'm getting like dual messages I just want to say this at the beginning of the reading so you guys are like well, what the fuck is she saying what the fuck is she talking about well this is why I'm talking about it because I'm getting multiple pictures okay so <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck you have the two of wands now this is the overall energy of the reading okay with the two of wands here this is basically um decision making time to figure out which direction we want to go in you know what makes sense for us what works are we holding on to the past or moving towards the future you know sometimes letting go of what was in the past um is wonderful you know sometimes we want to go back to it it's like communication between you and somebody else <clears throat> but i do want to mention knights as admiral admirable as they can sometimes be and i don't know if this is that energy you're still dealing with somebody who is kind of like they're they're not there for the long haul like the the, the knight of pentacles would be somebody that i would begin to tr i would trust in a situation but you have the knight of cups so this is like an overture of emotions it doesn't just have to mean like a, you know let's go on a date or i'm giving you my cup of love like this is like okay let's communicate about some serious things let's get our emotions on the table it is communication but it's also something here with this five of swords and the three of swords where it's like too much damage has been done already but we're still figuring out which direction we want to go in even though there's still amounts a, a fair amount of pain and frustration in this situation in regard to like the the energy that we're holding on here <clears throat> oh shit this reading is confusing <laughs> all right so show me the empress you have the magician so this is the opportunity to begin something again now i think both of you both groups here, no matter which one you're in, you have the opportunity to move forward. 
either with a person or on your own. And I think that's going to be entirely up to you. But it's essentially where we look at things from our past. We look at what we've experienced and we move forward <clears throat> according to what it is, uh, what we've experienced on the bottom. Okay, yeah. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So exactly, literally what I just said about, you know, evaluating what you've been through to move forward for what you what you want with the magician here and the empress this is a very empowering position to be in whether pregnant or not pregnant you know it's about feeling a sense of self being in your entirety claiming your power again and moving into your life in the ways that you want to in abundance in happiness and basically being your own boss and i don't mean on a you know work level but like being solid within yourself it's it's a it's a very empowering energy especially guided by the sun the sun is the most positive card in the deck it's a very high level of positivity <clears throat> aside from gestation periods and children you know and you have pregnancy potential pregnancy here a child here i mean it could be a fire sign child whatever it is but it's it's there's somebody is very ripe on the inside and if you're not pregnant it's like you are ripe and ready to go in your own direction that's what i'm picking up show me the sun here for virgo hang on one sec i've got cards on the floor yeah awesome ace of coins queen of coins <clears throat> ace of swords at the bottom of the deck so Ace of Coins, Queen of Coins, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands. Um, this is about new beginnings. It's about new potentials. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities, new things for abundance, new jobs, new money coming in, um, job offers. Um, sometimes it's also being your own boss. This could also be a new job opportunity entirely. For those of you who are pregnant, you you have fire here all over the place this is about movement it's about action it's also about um you know utilizing your intuition in regard to the direction that you're going towards but it's it's a happier direction it's something that feels good some of you are like absolutely over the moon about being pregnant you know and not everybody feels like that about pregnancy but like some of you are really really happy about that um, it feels like it's more of a stable thing but it feels also like you might be doing that on your own I don't know. I don't know why this this energy is kind of bothering me. And this energy is bothering me too. But on the whole, you as yourself feel solid. <clears throat> I think also with this at the bottom of the deck, we're really being certain about what we're allowing in and out of our situation. What Mainly what we're allowing in. It's having great clarity in regard to what we're dealing with. Please show me the page of wands here. So for the Page of Wands, <clears throat> you have the Fool and the High Priestess. So new directions entirely. And again, another card of potential pregnancy as well. Um, you know, things that are hidden, things are beneath. Um, some of you may not be expressing your new direction or whatever you're going through with people. Some of you may just be keeping it to yourself, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You still feel empowered. You still feel in the direction that you're supposed to be going. It's not a bad situation. <clears throat> All right. Show me this Knight of Cups. What's up for Gemini? I'm, I'm sorry, Virgo. Show me the Knight of Cups. So for the Knight of Cups, you have the Six of Pentacles coming out in reverse here. And then you also have Temperance. And I do want to mention at the bottom of the deck, now you have Justice. So this is what I'm feeling. This is more about reconciliation. Um, some of you may be separated from, and I'm going with the thread of the pregnancy situation right now. Some of you may be in a situation where the father of the child <clears throat> um you know, there may be a disconnect with this person. There may have not been equal give and take. They may have also had third-party situations in, in your mix. 
<clears throat> but either way, it feels like they're coming back for some sort of reconciliation or communication to try and heal this situation. And that doesn't mean that they're not genuine about it. You know, with the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords, it doesn't mean that this person isn't genuine about their feelings for you. It just means shit happens, you know, and we have to deal with it accordingly. This person may, may very well want to rekindle this or figure this out with you. But what I'm feeling here <clears throat> is like you're faced with okay well what about what about manipulation what about emotional disruption what about you not telling me the truth or you like you know bringing third party situations in like you are a very self-serving energy here what about that you know and you have to address that not everybody's perfect with justice on the bottom of the deck this is basically indicating to me that this energy between you and this person is requiring deep deep honesty you also had the ace of swords when the ace of pentacles came out with the queen of wands it's about being very honest in regard to the direction that you're going in what you want perfect clarity don't get jumbled up with things because of emotions running rampant especially if you're pregnant your emotions and hormones are going to be all over the place for those of you who are not pregnant and you're just kind of dealing with your own life on your own terms, I think you're keeping a lot to yourself, but that doesn't necessarily negate your own happiness and sense of value and worth in your life. I feel like a lot of you Virgos have come up in a lot of ways, which is really healthy. It's a healthier sense of being. It's a healthier sense of looking at yourself and how you show up in situations. <clears throat> and some of you, I feel, are just like doing shit on your own. Like I, I do. And then this potential comes in you have the opportunity here to address something with somebody that may have left you may have just kind of shut down clammed up and hurt you you know but through that pain it feels like you've gotten a lot and again this is so weird because this should be past present future but i'm feeling like this is current energy present and then moving into the future <clears throat> show me this five of swords for virgo show me the five of swords for virgo please Okay, it's falling on the floor. So for the Five of Swords, you have the Five of Cups here, okay? So the Five of Cups basically is a card of regret. It's coming out twice. Regret, frustration, hurt, worry, feeling immense guilt about a situation. This person I feel here, Virgo, kind of like I said in the past, pregnant or not, <clears throat> this situation you have somebody coming back who has like genuine feelings for you and it feels like they're really sorry about what they did it feels like they're sorry about the actions that they took the way that they mistreated you it feels like they recognize some of the mind games they've played but mm, you know what to do and I feel in a certain way that both of you in this situation regarding this particular thing feel regret in different ways about it show me the three of swords for Virgo please <coughs> yeah so you have um, the six of cups coming out in reverse here for this person and now you have the knight of coins okay so remember earlier when I said, you know, even with this person, whatever they are, you know, coming out with this Knight of Cups, Knights don't typically stay long enough to make something happen. You know, I feel that now with the Knight of Pentacles, this person is, you're being given the opportunity, pregnant or not, to, um, <clears throat> to resurrect this situation. This person is now coming back with stability. I feel here with the Six of Cups in reverse and the Five of Cups, Three of Swords and the Five of Swords. I feel that this person, whomever you're dealing with, father of child, no father of child, it's whomever you're dealing with here. And if this is, situation is resonating, you have, um, they, they have a lot of regret. They're holding on to things. They're not being able to let this out of their mind because it feels like they've stepped away from somebody who was very important to them. Okay, and now with the Knight of Pentacles, they're coming back to want to give forth to this to to make it steady and long, give it longevity. And I feel like they're coming from a place of pain too. Both of you are. But at the bottom of the deck for this, we have the Nine of Pentacles, which is about being on your own, you know, manifesting things and working towards what you want in your life. It's It's a card of singularity. It's it's basically where we are happier on our own, 
you know? And I do want to mention this because I'm picking up this thing for those of you who are expecting to have a baby soon. Even though this didn't work out, you like, I, I don't know, I'm just like feeling like you perceive being pregnant as a gift. It's like one thing that you actually wanted, even if it didn't work out with this person. It doesn't mean you can't be friends with them, you know, because now they're showing up as like a genuine energy. They want to help. They want to serve. They want to be part of you. But even if you choose not to be part of that type of relationship dynamic, even if you choose to walk away from them entirely, it's like you're still like, yeah. I'm, I'm like having a baby and it's, there's a happiness about it over here that feels really nice, Virgo. Um, and it kind of just wipes away a lot of this. It's almost as if like, yeah, maybe I can't have you, but I can have this wonderful part of you. Or like I can have, it's, it's like this happiness slash bittersweet slash it's okay energy. Like I'm okay with this. Don't worry. You know? So it's an interesting energy. It's not bad. It's just like, kind of like, um, it's like you've already, you've already reconciled with yourself in regard to how you feel about this. Show me the chariot here for Virgo, please. <clears throat> so for the chariot, you have the seven of cups. Yeah. And you have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So basically what I'm feeling here for this Virgo is like, no matter what's going on here, even if you choose to not go back to this person, it's going to be frustrating because there's there's connection here, you know, but it might not work out in that way. With the chariot here and the seven of uh, cups, this is this is giving you the opportunity for potential, giving you the opportunity for many things to happen. You have options, OK, and you're moving forward. I feel that this chariot shows up because you are in this sense of balance within yourself. You're already vibing in a sense of harmony here. And you have opportunities and potentials, options to go for it. The chariot talks about moving forward in life in a fair amount of in a fair amount of success. You know, it's getting our bodies and our minds all connected. It's getting our emotions like um, equaled out. You know, balanced out so we can actually move forward. You know, where we've been maybe discombobulated and hurting here about a situation, we still, you know, have done the lessons, worked through the problems and progress and progressed with ourselves in the situations. It's positive. And you end up going towards what actually makes sense for you. You you choose the option that you want most. Some of you, that may be a situation where you both feel regret about this and you go back with each other because you have here the chariot the five of cups but in between you have the the eight of pentacles some of you are going to say hey listen i love you i care about you thank you this is not for me i but we both have regret but this isn't for me i don't want to deal with this kind of you know where you're not giving to me equally there's no reciprocation you're kind of playing mind games with me and it leads to heartache you know i feel that this person is regretful very sad but i think you both are for different reasons <clears throat> Show me the Eight of Pentacles here for Virgo, please. So with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Four of Swords here. Now, some of you with this, this person may be offering to work on this now, work very hard on this, move this forward. You know, they're giving you the option and potential to do this. But I think you're kind of like in this state of no I'm going to take time for myself. I'm going to be with myself. Some of you are still healing from this, but doing better on your own. <clears throat> you know, this is like more like, I, I don't think that th this energy doesn't really match with me. It doesn't really fit with the energy that I'm feeling right now. <clears throat> it, it goes, it, it's almost like the four of pentacles or the four of cups. Like, thank you. No. You know, I'm okay. Like, I don't think I want to venture into this. I've got stuff going on on my own. I would rather deal with me. I would rather put the energy and effort I have to go for me into me. And so I'm going to calculate and figure out what's best for myself. <clears throat> and at the bottom of the deck, I do want to mention you have the Knight of Swords. This is about blunt communication. It's about being utterly honest to get to the bottom of the situation, to get to the heart of the matter in the quickest way possible because you don't want to prolong pain and frustration. It's making both people aware of each other's feelings and making sure that we can communicate together in harmony about the situation, even in a disharmony, dis disharmonious um, 
situation that you've been dealing with. Show me the Five of Cups here for Virgo. So Two of Swords here. Yeah. Okay. So some of you... <clears throat> And the nine of pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are letting this go. You know, some of you have found peace within the situation, you know, pregnant or not. And I think you are choosing to let it go. Some of you may venture back into it. You know, that's fine too. Whatever you need to do. I mean, we are in retrograde season. Sometimes we just have to give the opportunity for things to happen and take shape. And if it works out, it works out. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. But, you know, here with the five of, sword, five, five of cups and the two of swords, <clears throat> we have regret. We have sorrow. We have frustration. We have, you know, heavy heart energy. This is a heavy heart energy of regret. But I do want to mention here, we have the two cups behind us so there's potential for more in our future you know there's potential for more to happen we just have to get over this grieving period but for this for some of you this is an energy where we are um let me put this here for now we're basically closing ourselves off from somebody it's like well you know this isn't working out i'm going to close myself off i'm you know communication comes to a standstill there may be just silence there may be you know you might you might um just go into a stalemate with this person i don't think that that's the energy though because i feel like you communicate it's not a stalemate you communicate but it's like closing yourself off because you have other things that you need to do especially in regard to healing your situation you know <clears throat> into further growth especially with the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck indicating um doing things on your own being a solitary person being a solitary person and finding new direction you know i feel here virgo like like this went this way but it also comes back to this it's like this cycle which is very interesting because none of the other readings in this whole entire you know reading period did that but yours <coughs> It's like back, but here's where you are and where you are, Virgo. And I hope this is for you. It's, it's being in a sense of power, being in a sense of self-awareness, being happier with yourself, happy with your situation. You know, if, this is, if you're not pregnant, if you're just single, it's like being like, hell yeah, I'm good on my own. I can do this on my own. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm enjoying life. I'm finding like new zest and zeal for life and experiencing things in very new ways. Some of you are going into like becoming writers. Some of you are going into communications. Some of you are just being happy. Some of you are just being happy, okay? Um, for the pregnant people, I feel, and not everybody's pregnant, I know not all of my viewers are female, you know, but for, for those that are pregnant, it's like, you've made peace with this. It, it's painful, but in some regard, you've made peace with this and you're okay here. You're okay for more of, um, to, to connect with yourself and, and to connect with your baby. Like, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. But there's a separation here. There's a, a disconnect here. And we choose to be on our own. What's under the nine of pentacles? The chariot. <clears throat> chariot, chariot. Yeah, this is moving forward. Positivity and success. So let's go ahead and get a ooh, oracle. This is the crystal wisdom healing oracle deck. What energy, what message and energy does Virgo need to hear and know? What does Virgo need to know about? Please show me the energy present for the sign of Virgo. So you have tri... This one came out the other day. Trigonic quartz? Trigonic quartz? I don't know how to say that word. If anybody does, let me know. <clears throat> I'm feeling like this one needs to come out to you. This is on the bottom of the deck. Lavender argonite. Okay, so let's go ahead and do trigonic quartz. <clears throat> trigonic quartz, the soul's code. Trigonics, trigonics, I don't know how to say it. Hold the secrets of the universe and rapidly expand your awareness of multi-dimensions. Trigonics are some are cosmic coding for the soul. Self-understanding. You are an eternal spirit on a human journey. As a result, you may feel that Earth is not your true home, but remember that you are here for a purpose. Expand your awareness, restructuring your physical and subtle bodies, beliefs, and realities. 
birth your soul fully on earth if you feel alienated. <clears throat> Meditation triggers your soul's full potential and purpose. In reintegrating fragments of your soul, you bring about wholeness. Recognize the multidimensional breath of your own soul. Remain honest to achieve success. Reach beyond apparent reality and karma. Let go of conflicts. Renegotiate soul contracts. <clears throat> Heal soul traumas and the etheric blueprint. Expel toxins from the physical and subtle bodies to download higher frequency spiritual in energies and integrate the light body. <clears throat> um. I feel most resonant in regard to this reading with um, renegotiate soul contracts and heal soul traumas and the etheric blueprint. Renegotiating soul contracts. So the six of cups here, I know it's all hidden, but the six of cups basically talks about soul connections with people. These are oftentimes karmic relationships we're, when we're all karmic partners with each other, really. But I mean, these are the, these are the ones that we've specifically chosen to meet up with in this life to create a new change or to create learning, understanding newness in our lives. It's the karmic partners are partners, whatever it is, friends, family, love relationships that, you know, we're all teachers to each other. We, we create newness in our lives. You know, we're here to give each other lessons. Sometimes it's, I'm going to connect with this person on this plane, on this earth to create a baby, you know, <clears throat> and that's what this person is here for. That's why I don't feel like there's like this urgency of like pain. I feel like whomever is here, like pregnant or not, you've kind of reconciled your energy with this person and you're in a completely different space. This person is feeling low. This person is that you're dealing with is feeling very heavy, but like, it's not the end of the world. It's not this cataclysmic, painful thing. And I cannot remember what your other reading was about. I really wish I could because I'm trying to, I'm like, is there any connection? I don't know if there's any connection. I don't know if this is for an entirely different group of Virgos. And I don't even know if that was just for one person because sometimes readings come out like that where nobody drives with them but one person. <clears throat> All right, so let's go to Lavender Argonite. <clears throat> Pardon me. Environmental healing. Lavender Argonite heals your personal environment and Earth's meridian grid and raises the vibrations of the planet. Okay. <clears throat> Becoming comfortable in your own body and environment. You incarnated to be a guardian for the planet. You are a vehicle for purifying and healing the earth, reminding others that it is sacred, living living being to be treated with respect. You remind others that it is a sacred living being to be treated with respect. Pay attention to um, pay attention to where you live within yourself. Do your inner housekeeping and nurture yourself. And I feel that a lot of you have. I feel that a lot of you have, and I feel also, this is a total side note, <clears throat> but for those of you who are pregnant, what I'm noticing in the world nowadays with children, it's like there's this new wave of beings coming in, and these children that are being born now are like, they're here to change the planet, and it's weird. It's We talk about like Greta Thunberg, you know, and she's part of that, you know, collective, <clears throat> she's she's here to change the planet with people and like there's this collective of like uniting souls within these energetic bodies as infants and babies but they're coming to do amazing things here and i've i know this is going to sound really fucking off the wall <clears throat> but for those of you who are having children it's like that is coming to fruition that you're part of this collective you're part of this environmental healing <clears throat> I know that sounds really wacky, but that's honestly what I'm feeling. Become a vehicle for healing the environment by opening yourself to higher vibrational energies. <clears throat> Do not participate in anything that despoils the planet or diminishes its resources. Work with your power animal and nourish your inner being. Take no risks and avoid excesses. That's also for pregnant people no risk, no drinking, no whatever. Be careful about the food that you're eating. I'm also talking about water for some reason. Be careful about the water that you're drinking. <clears throat> I'm having a very big hit on water right now. I don't know if it's like don't drink tap water, something about that. 
Um, be very careful about what you're drinking, what you're taking into your system. <clears throat> if your environment is unhealthy and disharmon disharmonious, it cannot support well-being. Transform it and, it and well-being returns. The frequency is high. It's a high vibe frequency that you're bringing into this world. Pregnant or not, you're vibing at a very different level. Align, so the chakra aligns the earth star, base, third eye, soul star, and the stellar gateway. So they're talking about like the chakras that we do not see. They're t so <clears throat> a lot of people only know about seven chakras. I believe there are 13, you know. Um, you might want to look up that information if that's of interest to you. But there are more than just seven chakras, and they're very interesting. Bottoms of the feet, hands, and then beyond the um, crown chakra as well. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius. Um, I'm not sure what timing means. And then soul path, healing the environment. I feel that that's very heavy for those of you bringing in children. I think that that's something very special. <clears throat> and I know that message isn't for everybody. So whomever it is, congratulations. You might change the world. Um, or help it along. Okay. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> I'm going to stop this reading here. Um, I'm so glad that this was a completely different energy than what we've been experiencing in the last reading. I'm going to put that reading up just as a bonus for you because it may be helpful to somebody. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. So be it. Um, but either way, this looks really good. It looks... <laughs> you're adulting very well. So, and you're, and you're, you're in yourself and it's a healthy in yourself. It's not cataclysmic or falling apart. So bravo. And I will talk to you guys soon. If this reading was helpful, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you choose to donate, there's a link in the description box below. And I will see you in a couple of weeks for your next reading. Take care of Virgo. Bye-bye.